Yo guys, welcome back to another commentary video. Um, I recently put out a solo tank video on Iron Council hard mode, and you guys seem to like it. So I'm going to do a little bit more commentary stuff. Uh, today, we're talking about solo tanking Algalon 10 man. This is very weird and very different. Not your traditional solo tank fight. The reason our group is solo tanking it on this pull is because our off tank, who is our DK, just didn't have the gear to survive Algalon because Algalon hits really, really fucking hard. Um, so this might be a strategy that you might have to resort to come Classic Wrath if you don't have the off tank to survive Algalon. Maybe consider doing this if your team is capable of pulling it off. Um, another reason you might solo tank is because maybe you're going for a speed run or a parse and you just want to get like the absolute fastest kill possible. Totally fine as well. Um, in fact, we didn't even have a good healer comp for this. We're running Resto Shaman, Resto Druid, which I have never done ever in my career or seen anyone do on Algalon 10 man. This is a awful healing comp um, for Algalon. You typically want to run something like a Holy Paladin and a Disc Priest. That would make the fight infinitely easier. Um, so we are playing this fight on extra, extra, extra hard mode, making it very hard to kill the boss by solo tanking it and with this horrible healing comp. Um, but I'm going to walk you through what we did and how we were able to succeed. Um, just fair warning, this is week three of Ulduar. Just so you have an idea of kind of where everyone's gear is at. I'm playing on an alt rest of Shaman of mine. I know that our rep Paladin is basically brand new to the server, so he's not too geared in this moment. Our prop Paladin has some good gear, which is why we're relying on him on solo tanking. And overall, everyone else is pretty okay geared. All right, let's jump into it. Now, of course, this is not a boss guide on Algalon, so I do hope that you have some understanding of how Algalon works before attempting something like this or even fully understanding this video that we're going through. Um, but essentially, all that we care about is making sure that our main tank does not get more than four stacks of Fusion Punch. That's it. So every fifth application, we need to make sure somebody is soaking it. The good news is, as a healer, you just get to pump into one person and not two different tanks or worry about any insane tank swapping, which is really convenient. I'm a fucking rabbit. As you can see, I didn't play this the best, personally. Okay, so our tank now has four stacks. So, let me just pause here. We have phase punch coming in six seconds. This is the phase punch that we need to have someone soak. And it's a um, a cast application. So it's not just immediately on six seconds. It's the next auto, like a heroic strike queue. But because Algalon swings so fast, it's basically right on this timer. What we're doing here, just in preparation, boom. Okay, we have... In this moment, we have given our um, Blessing of Protection onto the DK. The DK is now fully bopped right now. Does not have aggro the boss. Boom, he's taunted. We have next phase punch coming in 0.8 seconds. He still has bop running. Boom, there's phase punch. And you can see he does take a spike in damage. So phase punch does go through immunities. So that's just one thing to know. He needs to... Basic, he should have popped IBF there just to make sure he didn't take um, any extra damage from that. But as you can see, the application of Fuse Punch is not going to be too, too deadly as long as he has Bop running. So he has Bop running, was able to easily soak that one. And then immediately our uh, tank taunts back before Bop expires. Beautiful. That's one taken care of. Now, you can see that our tank actually has 27 seconds remaining of Fuse Punch. But the next one is coming and 7.7 .7 seconds. So thankfully, Big Bang is actually coming before phase punch. So we're gonna get a, we're gonna uh, skip that one technically. Big bang. So we have Big Bang coming, and we run in for Big Bang. And all this time, that debuff on our main tank is expiring. And so right here, you actually, so the DPM timers get a little messed up. I wouldn't look too much into that. I think they get messed up because of the way that Fuse Punch is queued. 
um, and scripted into this fight. So because of that, we actually get to skip one, which is nice. Can you mana him? And there goes the first one. Kind of an overdue one, really. There's the second fuse punch. And so here's the big benefit of this of doing this strat is we actually get to push the boss into the very last phase before the second big bang. Typically, you're going to see two big bangs. And so we get to absolutely just nuke this boss and funnel him down. And the DPS check that we're trying to beat here is pushing the boss before all the collapsing stars die and absolutely destroy us. So as you can see, we have two stars, three stars that are looking and dying very soon. That one's at 14%, 10%. I call for divine him because I'm scared. I'm I'm anticipating two, potentially even three stars dying all at the same time, and I know it's a good kill, or I know it's a good pull. So I'm trying to make sure that we uh, live that. But we ended up pushing the boss past twenty percent, and so all those stars go away, and we just get the four black holes that spawn around the boss. So we've done it. We've hit the DPS check at this point. The boss is basically free. We just need to find a way to survive the next fifth application of phase punch so that we don't lose our main tank. So boom, we've made it. This is huge. Up Army of the Dead, Bolo. We know we have ads coming, so I call for Army of the Dead because I know Army of the Dead will taunt these ads. Just gives us a little bit of time to survive it. Buy some time for the tank to pick it up. No worries. Now, this is big. This is the biggest play of the moment because we have boss at 9% and we need to find a way to survive the next phase punch. We do have another bop available or we can just bubble it. You can see it's coming here in 4.9 seconds. So let's see what we do. So we call for bubble taunt. We call for Dalsgar to bubble taunt. He actually forgets to bubble before he taunts in this moment. We still have 1.1 seconds for him to get that face punch. So he sits there with boss, miraculously dodging or something, or I don't know what happened, but he only took this much damage, which is a fucking miracle, genuine miracle. I don't know how that happened. He must've just straight up dodged when he taunted. And then got the application of Fuse Punch, um, Phase Punch, which is just so lucky. Boss is immediately taunted back to our main tank, Perfect. and we push. Commit, commit. We even have this big bang coming, but we just full commit. In fact, I kind of get a little scared and edge towards the black hole. But we full commit there at that point, and that's just what that's just what happens. When you have enough damage, when you have Bloodlust going, and you solo tank to heal, you can easily push this boss with only one big bang. It's great. It's actually really, really convenient, and that makes the fight a little bit easier, but overall, we're playing this boss on like giga hard mode in this situation. I would not recommend this strat for everyone, but I hope that you maybe learned something about how to optimize your Algolon pulls um, in the future. I'll actually go ahead and hide my um, little camera here in case you want to see the DPS meters. And if you want to see a VOD for this uh, kill, I will leave a link to that in the description below without my commentary over it in case you just want to see us kill it. Uh, again, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Um, I would love to do more commentary videos like this. I think it's actually fun, a little bit insightful, and just a different perspective on, you know, how we're killing these hard mode bosses in Ulduar, which is really like the first checkpoint of uh, Classic Wrath where the difficulty like immediately jumps up. So uh, thanks so much for watching. I do hope to give... Uh, more commentary videos for you guys, uh, prop pally POV, DK tank POV, maybe healer POV, as much POV as I can possibly give you just to help you uh, with future tanking and future raid leading uh, come Classic Wrath. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace out.